How are you all doing over here on YouTube? I hope you're doing well. I hope uh, I hope everybody's uh, I hope everybody's had a good uh, start to their weekend. Uh, it being Saturday, I lose track of time. Um, but yeah, right. Uh, let me see who's here in the chat. Uh, William Champion, welcome along. Enzo Cat, welcome along. Zach Scrivens, welcome along. Uh, Robin Lindbergh, welcome along. Farming for the Nation, welcome along. Farms in Freak, welcome along. Uh, Eugene Creel, welcome along. Mog HV, thank you for um, becoming a channel member. Uh, you are awesome. Uh, Simon Harding, welcome along. Um, who else have we got in here? Jack Attack, welcome along. Uh, Sean Lewis, welcome along. Raftree, welcome along. Chad Carlton, welcome along. Uh, there was a talk on this called. Um, we'll we'll see. As I said, we'll we'll see what happens, Enzo. 
Um, but uh, yeah, all good so far. Um, Billy Joe, Jim Bob, SFF, welcome along. Ben H, welcome along. Farmer 500, welcome along. Old Timer Dave, welcome along. Jan Salin, welcome along. Um, yeah, there we go. Right, shall we crack on and get some farming done? Um, uh, Toes Me Goat 666, welcome along. Right. Uh, I want to get on with this. Uh, so it is 7.04 in the morning. It's fairly dark, but that will change fairly quickly. Um, am I going to... I think we're going to make... So we're at the end of the last stream, we took this. A lot of people do mingle. A lot of people do. Uh, we cut all this. I think we're going to turn this into hay today. And uh, get that all rowed and bailed. And then we might see if we can get some contracts to help pay for this thing. Now, this tractor, I will say, this cost us... Um, where is it? Here. So this cost us uh, 202... How much is it costing us per day? Because I don't we've got an hour on it yet. Oh, we've got three hours on it. It is costing us a bit because uh, of that. So, let's see. Oh, yeah. My vehicle leasing costs were 14,000 last game day. That's not good. So, yeah, we need, to, we need to do a bit of work. We need to do less work with that tractor. Uh, so, we are going to... We're going to take this out today. We're going to take the Porsche out. Yeah, we've got a very expensive tractor. Come on. Why is my tractor not starting? Let's add the music down a bit. Listen to that. It only has one reverse key. How do you get it to write to drive Massey? Hang on. There we go. We're in the right range now. This is never going to do this job. Oh, man. There is basically only one job this tractor can do on this farm. And even then, I'm not 100% sure whether it'll be able to do this. What am I on? This is Erlingrad. We're doing our... Uh, our uh, dairy farm on Erlingrad. Look at that sunrise. Turn it on. Drop it down. Alright, uh, sun's beginning to come up now.
This little porch is brilliant. But it has no horsepower. So this is this is about the only job it can do on our farm. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see how you're doing here, Enzo. There we go. Oh, smell that hay. It's all right if we're not going uphill with it. It's when we go uphill, it really struggles. But otherwise, it's it's just going to do this job fairly well. And we do need to use this tract from time to time. Otherwise, there is no point in having it on the farm. Why are the modding tutorials so hard to understand? I don't know. I haven't actually. I haven't gone through the modding tutorials yet. I need to. Um, I did get one mod uh, converted from FS uh, 1922, and that is the photo mode mod. It is fantastic to have that back. That is going to make making thumbnails so so much easier. Yeah, Lloyd's going downhill and the wind's behind it. Yeah, look at look at how much trouble we're already having with the power drop. And we're only going up a slight slope. This next slope is just going to be... Well, I need to drop it down to first. Might only go two miles an hour. But it should at least move forwards. Okay, uh, you drive a Massey and not a New Holland. Um, because the chat asked for it, basically, that is the reason why we have that 8S on the farm. It is costing us an absolute fortune to have, though. Um, we are having to do uh, a load of contracts just to keep the money in. Uh, Robin, please uh, stop putting um, junk in the uh, chat. Or I will have to start deleting your messages. Can't wait to see Oxy's maps on here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Oxy's map. Um, uh, to to Carmsden, it's going to be awesome. I'm currently toying with what we're going to stream on here at the moment. Um, I, we, we're going to do Erlingrat for a little while. I'm uh, I'm very much enjoying it, but I'm, I'm thinking more in the new year when we get to things. Uh, considering splitting the um, multiplayer between here and Twitch. So having, uh, so having one multiplayer stream on here each week and having one multiplayer stream over on Twitch each week. Uh, and maybe doing it that way. Because I'd like to do a mapping stream over there and I'd like to do the realism experiment over there. Uh, go to, uh, I think it's gdn.farming-simulator.com uh, or gdn.giants-software.com. You can smell the hay. It is spectacular, the, the hay effect on this. Really, really nice. I can actually go in cab for this. So that we can look at this fantastic little Porsche. I have the old Z Tour as well, which is a great little tractor. We could we could run this entire farm actually on these little tractors. Um, I mean, it would work absolutely fine. Get rid of the Massey and the money we spend on that per day, we could spend on one little Z Tour. So, uh, but the downside is I don't think we can run that set of mowers we've got. How can you spell the hay in the game? Um, it's because the graphics hit a realistic point at which um, it just triggers a smell in your brain. 
I've had it happen first time. First time I did hay in Farming Simulator 22. I could smell the hay. It was utterly ridiculous. Really strange. And it was it was purely because I saw it and went, oh my god, that just you can smell that. This little Porsche is a cracking little tractor. I'm so pleased. I so I bought. If you want to get this Porsche legally, uh, then uh, head. Uh, you can get it as part of uh, the Revel Porsche model kit. Hello, Mr. Marcel. How you doing? Thank you for thank you for letting me know that it wasn't my bad coding that was uh, that was causing the game to crash. Oh wow, this is I haven't this is struggling up this hill. Come on. Hello Daisy Dot, welcome along. Slipping a bit. Doesn't like these hills. I think this would be better off on some flat grass. I completely forgot we had this field. I said at the end of last stream, I, I yeah, I completely forgot this field was up here at the top end of uh, of the farm. So uh, yeah, this is this is why we're doing this today. We're getting it converted to hay, and we are gonna get it rowed and baled. Getting a gaming laptop for uh, FS22 for Christmas, awesome. I'm finding a lot in FS22 that I'm skipping stuff in the winter. It'll be harder on here because we've got the cows to deal with, but I think we'll basically feed the cows, make sure they're okay, and then skip days. What's the horsepower on the tractor? It's about 20 HP on this tractor. It is wildly underpowered for even this tether. In fact, I don't think there's an item in the game that, that this tractor isn't underpowered for. Um, it's a little bit nuts. Excellent, Enzo. Big problem is uh, when helpers reach 80% in a machine that Harvest collects, all the machines start to jump and helpers stop working, so the machine just runs at will. I've not come across that one. I've used help. I've used helpers with harvests and things, and not yeah, not come across that. Consoles really struggle running um, FS22. Have you had? I've not. I've not heard that so much. Well, certainly not the next gen ones. But I've, uh, there's been problems on PS4 that should now be resolved. I believe that the update is out on PS4. But I'm not hearing too many issues with it running on consoles. I have yet to get uh, to get the game on PS4. Um, I do want to get it on PS4. Uh, despite the fact that crossplay is now a thing. Uh, do I know what caused the Harvest Contract bug? I don't, but uh, hopefully it should be fixed in the next patch, which will be out as soon as it is able. Your chickens. Are your chickens doing okay? That's not a problem I've come across. Uh, look in, look out. Um, I don't know. Has anybody else here had that issue? And be oh my good grandma's. Oh, number one in your hearts. A quick recovery, my friend. plan anything because you constantly have to make sure that the helper does not reach 80% with a harvester collector. Yeah, I've not had that at all. I've done several harvests with the helper and it's reached 80% and it's been fine. Seems to look really cartoony on console. I'm, w I'm wondering if that's the thing. It's because I've, I've, I mean, I don't know if you guys saw the pictures I posted on in Instagram today. 
The pictures I've been taking of FS22 on my PC are almost photorealistic. The graphics and the lighting on PC are utterly stunning. And I can't get enough of them. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, and I'm loving sunrise and sunset. I mean, look at that. If you ignore, if you ignore the, the character, because the character does look a little bit uncanny valley. Um, but the, the rest of it is just absolutely fantastic. It's very difficult to make an in-game character that, that doesn't look artificial. Because the human brain just rejects it. Uh, this tractor, yeah, this tractor comes by, um, so the, uh, model kit I have in the background that you can't quite see because I haven't sorted out the lighting for my background yet, um, that includes, uh, this tractor in the kit, so you can download this tractor in the kit. Uh, how does the trailer overfill work? So the trailer overfill, rather than letting you fill to the maximum volume, it lets you fill to the maximum weight. That may not be the full trailer load. So that varies from uh, from crop to crop and, and item to item. I'm wondering if I can get an affiliate link to this, actually, because uh, I don't know if this is actually available on, uh, on Amazon. I bought it from a different model shop. Uh, the fence or the po I don't know, actually. I should have the fence in here. Uh, sorry, not the fence, the Zetor. So the Zetor has 25. <laughs> the Porsche has 14. Is there anything in this game that has 14 horsepower? I, I can't believe there's anything. What about a wind rower? Oh, tw no, even, even the smallest wind rower is still 20 horsepower. <laughs> so even that, it's even overpowered for that. Oh, what about a bale wrapper? A bale wrapper, it doesn't say. I'd be amazed if there's anything in this game that this that this tractor isn't underpowered for. Oh, it's, it, yeah, it isn't underpowered for. How do I come up with at least one number plate? VF022 seemed fairly appropriate. It's about, what, the Porsche? I, I got it. Uh, is that model shop still there? In, uh, no, it isn't. I know the one you mean, J-Man, uh, the J-Man. No, it isn't. That was, oh God. So that was there. You mean the one that had just outside Castle Mal, don't you? Um, yeah, on, on the way up to the um, the what were the, was the EDP officers? No, that was an awesome model shop. That was incredible. That model shop. Um, and no, that's unfortunately not there anymore. Is Bulletville returning for FS22? We still don't know. He's not said he is or he isn't. Um, I live in hope. I would love to see Culver Park Farm. Um, but, uh, yeah. At the moment, not seeing anything. How do I come up with... So, it's very simple. My number plates are... Um... Uh, my number plates are VF, uh, order of the equipment I buy it, so 001, 002, 003, and if it needs it, uh, then um, it'll have the map in it. So, um, for Hope Bellon, all my all my number plates are uh, HB, zero, uh, HB, vehicle number, and uh, and then VF. Uh, on the American map, it's uh, number VFM. Uh, 
Uh, and if I rent anything, anything rented, I just go with whatever default number plate it gives me. Game is so laggy for you. What are you on? Um, uh, I, I, D, I, talk. Come on, little Porsche. You can do it. It's only 8.45 in the morning. We've got to go and earn our Massey. Hey, Dixie Farmer. Welcome along. We're not doing too bad. I mean, we've got 50,000 at the moment. Oh, it's, it is one of my favorite. It's one of my favorites as well. We When we were doing the retrospective, we went and looked at uh, an FS17 and we did CPF. It was the only the only game, uh, only version of Farm Sim where we did a mod map was uh, FS, uh, FS17 and we did Cold Park Farm. And it, the memories, oh, it was just incredible. Uh, how is it? Are you what on multiplayer or are you on PC or, or what? How um, how Mac? Uh, can I test this issue? Um, I can't because I've not had it. I mean, I've not had it in this save game or any other. Um, my Bessie playthrough has really got you into this game. Fantastic. Uh, we will be doing something similar, probably with Carlston over on Twitch. Uh, the realism experiment. As soon as I get a decent British map to do the realism experiment on, I will do the realism experiment. Because I love it. It's it's my favourite thing to do in Farm Sim. And, uh, and I can't wait to get back to it. Do I watch Dagwin at all? Um, I used to watch Dagwin a lot. Uh, my trouble is, at the moment, I just have a time shortage. Uh, I used to watch I used to watch a lot of farm sim YouTube uh, and I I just don't get a chance to watch it anymore uh, so yeah unfortunately does it ever you like it's it, the game hasn't lagged for me I haven't played multiplayer yet I've been holding off until uh, basically things have improved with the servers uh, once things have improved with servers, uh, we will start multiplayer. Possibly looking at doing multiplayer next week now. Um, Sunday, I'm going to be doing a mixed stream over on Twitch. We're going to be doing some Farm Sim, and we're going to be doing some Hunter Call of the Wild. Um, because I have been sponsored to do some Hunter Call of the Wild. So, um, I'm going to go and do that, uh, which will be quite cool. Uh, especially if it's a great game. I don't mind doing a, a sponsored stream uh, like that on a, on a game that I really like. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to go and do some Hunter. And I'll see if I can actually find something this time. We got any lags? Uh... Ah, there we go. It helps to have a tester in the chat. <laughs> PS5 only uh, only problems with the AI workers. Yeah, I've I, I, I've encountered very few problems. I, I I'll be honest, I have encountered very few problems with FS22. There's a code for Natrado. Uh, there wasn't one in mine. That's interesting. I would say. Now, do I have this in here? Yeah, I do. If you do want an, uh, a server for Farming Simulator 19, uh, Farming Simulator, well, 19 it'll do as well. But 22, there is my Natrano partner code. Uh, go check that out. Actually, I'm not sure you get the Zerion Saddle Track anymore, but you do get the um uh you do get the z tour you get the z tour z25 now and the black beauty and the mac black anthem are all available if you order using my partner code hey martin welcome along how you doing do you think a 2000 pound pre-built pc would run 22 as good as possible i would hope so because every time i have uh priced up a pc 
uh, it's going to cost about that much. Um, what graphics card is in it, Sam? I mean, I'm running on very high. And I'm running on uh, with a uh, an RTX 2070. And it is not having any problem with the game at all. I mean, I can show you. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm running a solid 60 FPS. And I'm going to try and maintain this throughout FS22. Uh, this is survival map or something. Uh, no. Uh, it's well. This is a base game map. This is uh, this is Erlingrad. It is the. Uh, it's a map I think is great if you want to set up a dairy farm, simply because there's so much grass available from the very beginning. The biggest issue. Uh, the biggest issue with the base game maps in general is lack of grass. This this map does not have that problem at all. Here you start and you start with grass fields. And grass fields are a great thing you can buy straight off, so yeah. Enzo is on probation, Martin. Although I think you were here last time when I said that. Uh, this map is from the Alpine DLC, yes. Uh, although it was um, redone for FS22. Uh, ah, there you go, Moggy. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to get the link for this then. But look at that. If the sun was wasn't behind the mountain. I would uh, take a picture of that. Uh, this is not a survival map. No, this is a base game map. Do I like FS22? Yeah, I love FS22. It is absolutely fantastic. Lurking and working, currently harvesting soybeans on FS19 while it waits for your PS5. Nice. Very nice. Hello, Ace! Welcome along. So excited to play. I, yeah. It is just absolutely brilliant. Uh, you breed them and sell them. Get them up a little bit in age. Uh, breed more and sell them. There we go. Right, lower eye enabled. Right. It's a little bit too much in shadow for me, that. Oh, like that. Season big game, I'm really excited for Maze Plus mod in pre seasons. Yeah, Maze Plus is going to be interesting. My, my worry with a mod like Maze Plus uh, is what the impact on my FPS is going to be. Um, and um, everything I play is going to be evaluated on uh, based on the uh, FPS impact because I don't want to end up 
in the situation I was in at the end of FS19 where my game was running at like 20 FPS and it was and it would go into um, uh, it would go into unplayability at some times it is a gorgeous looking little track to this and it's not doing badly running this uh, this tether my day's going pretty well, uh, thank you, uh, Sean Drogo. I had, uh, so I took the twins out today. We went out and we had, um, we went out to the soft play and uh, and had fun. And then I took them for a meal afterwards and we had a, we had, I had burger and milkshake and all that kind of thing. And it was, yeah, it was great. I had so much food uh, at about, 2 p.m. this afternoon. I haven't had to eat this evening. How's my internet at the store? Fine at the moment. Actually, better than it normally is, to be honest. Is an RTX 3070 as good as my graphics card? An RTX 3070 is better than my graphics card, Sam. Because I only have a 2070, so yes. That will play farm sim absolutely fine. Yeah, I'd, lo I'd love an RTX. I'd, uh, I'm targeting an RTX 3070 Ti or a 3080 for my next upgrade. Uh, don't massively need it, to be honest. Everything is running as it should. Especially now that I've got the, the streaming PC up and running. Um, and, and that's working as it should. It's, it's pretty good. I only can play it with stone picking, and that's because you get too many stones and the equipment has to pick them up is small and slow. Uh, if you get uh, totes, if you have um, small stones on your field, you can just roll them in. So one way to do it might be to roll them in and then only go and pick up stones uh, for any that don't roll. 2070 works fine. I'd like to upgrade soon to probably a 3070. Yeah. And you can turn stones off as well, as Martin says. And the Scorpion is 5.5 meters, yeah. Surprised they have not made a new side panel for 22 with a gearbox and new features on it. Um... Well, the thing is, the interesting thing is, the gear stick is not assigned anything by default. And I'm finding this is the case with uh, consoles as well as PCs. Because lots and lots of people have said um, that they've gone to use their G920 or G29 with the game. And their gear stick does nothing. And I kind of understand why the gear stick does nothing. In order to get mine working with a gear setup, I've not set it to gears. I've set the middle two gears to forward and back. I've set the uh, I've set positions one and two to up and down gears. And I've set five and six to move up and down um, uh, gear ranges. There are, yeah, there are no contracts for stone picking to the best of my knowledge. Hey, Adam Selfridge. I think it'd be a very difficult one for the game to measure. You know, does it measure, oh, you picked up, at, you know, how stony the field actually is. So, I'm not, I'm not sure there is a stone picking contract. How are you doing, Adam Selfridge?
Made 14,441 from selling bread from Contract Sogum, which has paid for your large greenhouse. Wow. So you can't use a shift to have it. Uh, no, well, the trouble is some tractors have like 18 gears. So you would, even if even if the shifter had gears assigned to it, you wouldn't be able to use it as as normal. Uh, hello, Robin Lindbergh. Uh, hello, Beetle Rabbit uh, 301. How are you doing there in South Africa today? Hello, the business cat. Uh, how about a business deal? I I'm good, thank you. contract in a bit so we'll see uh that Beeson, thank you for the follow uh thank you for subscribing uh no was that a follow or subscribe i think that was a follow over on over on twitch yeah i think that was a follow wasn't it because it should have appeared in my uh, new activity no there we go it's a subscribe Thank you, Thad Beeson, for you uh, for subscribing. Welcome to the BFN. Give you a like, you say meow, everybody happy. Fair enough. You give me a like, I'll say meow. There, I said meow. I said meow again. Thank meow a lot, right? <laughs> Lots of meow. Like, meow. <laughs> Where's the beacon? Uh, there, Enzo. Uh, as soon as I am in a tractor that has a beacon on it, I'll turn the beacon on. Right, there we go. I'm going to turn the lights off on this now. Hundred and sixty people watching. Fifty nine likes. Ooh, 50 likes. We all know what happens at 50 likes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. Yeah. We can't use this tractor for the next thing because our wind mower is way too big for this tractor to handle. So we're going to switch. CR Farm Life, welcome along. Andy Smith, welcome along. Bin Fast Simulator, welcome along. Right, let's see if we can squeeze this. Wow. This is the definition of old and new. Brand spanking new and uh, electric and, uh, and very, very old Porsche. Uh, what's the horsepower on that, actually? 68. What's the horsepower requirement on our windmill? 80. I'm going to use that. Oh, beacon. Look! It's a light!
Ah, oh, thank you, the business cat. The used equipment in FS22 is fantastic. This is handling this. Just about. They can try letting me help. Yeah, we will do that. I just need to get this work done first. Hey, Richard Dower. There you go. Yeah, you get the uh, PorscheFireRevel.com. No, it looks ridiculous by that derpy little tractor. I like this. That's not that's not ridiculous. What are you on about? We've got to use the electric tractor for something. Get back in the sh the uh, sun, and we'll uh, we'll take some pictures. Like on this corner. It's just spectacular, that is. I might get a picture from the other side at the top of the hill. Looks like a golf bag. I kind of like it. Uh, last comment. Andy, Andy, Andy. Where's your last comment? Uh, send me a message on my Discord admin chat. Oh, okay, cool. What's on sale? On sale today. going to have to buy that. 73,000 for a 225 horsepower tractor. How much is the Deutz? Ah, oh, you see the Deutz is a... That's a really good price as well. Ooh, and that can take a front loader, too. The thing is, if I borrow the 25000 to buy either of these tractors, that's less. I'm not going to be paying 14000 a day for borrowing that money. Guys, which one do I go for, though? That Deutz has got really good power levels, and that Massey's got really good power levels. Get the Deutz. I can't afford both. I can afford one of them. No, you don't. But we do have the 8S on the farm already, which is why I'm kind of going, oh, I'd like to replace my hard tractor with that. Uh, Chanda Esperan... Es... Esperaza. 
Esperanza? Deutsch, Deutsch. A chat seemed to want me to replace my Massey with a Deutsch. Uh, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. Deutsch. Massey, Massey. Uh, Massey. Deutsch. Massey. Massey. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna flip a coin. I'm gonna flip a coin because I can't decide. Either tractor would be hugely useful on the farm. I can't do a pole, Richard. It's, it's okay. Heads Massey, tails Deutz. It's the Deutz. We're getting the Deutz. It was tails. So uh, I'm gonna borrow. I'm gonna borrow twenty-five thousand. And we're gonna buy the Deutz. Uh does it cost anything to add the Michelins? No, it doesn't. We're not going to add a front loader. Three. Okay. Front and back, type one or type two, type three. Wow. How many different types are there? Ooh. There are so many different types on Erlengrat. All right, three. Okay. Right. She is a beauty. Two hundred and forty-seven horsepower. What a crack it. Oh, look. <laughs> look what else is available. <laughs> look what else is available. A mother. <laughs> uh, I am not using the money cheat. I do not use the money cheat. The, the, <laughs> the walkabout mother pin is available. <laughs> hey, Andrew Henderson. I'm doing well, thank you. Right. Uh, we need to... So before I go any further with this... Say goodbye to our very expensive hired Massey Ferguson. Why the mother... How many hours on it? We'll have a look in a moment. Because we're probably going to have to repair it. So I'm going to have to borrow some money for that. Right, that can go back now. So turn it off. And we'll return the Massey. So how many hours on this? 35 hours on this. 41 hours on the Massey. Yeah, definitely the Deutz is the better choice here. Hey, Triple D Gaming. Welcome along. Yeah, this was definitely the better choice. Whoa. That kicked in. Send me a pic on Discord. Oh, I can't look at my Discord right now, Enzo. Sometimes you get really difficult choices on the sales. 
For that Massey and the Deutz to come up at the same time, that's really quite something. I've got used to the force feedback on this now, and it's really good. Put the beacons on. Beacons are on. Oh, wow. Oh, they're strobe beacons. So my beacon is doing something different. <laughs> doing the same that I watched. There we go. Yeah, we need to or we need to take this to our workshop, see how much it'll cost to get it repaired. We'll see if we can take on a uh, contract to, to get this repaired in a bit. But this is overkill for almost everything on our farm except for... Five that, wow! So yeah, it's gonna cost us 5,000 to repair this. So we'll leave that at the workshop. Meanwhile. Yeah, Enzo, it needs painting bad. The warrior version look, does look really cool. Yeah, absolutely the warrior version looks cool. There we go. Paint. I'm not painted, Enzo. Chair by streamer, I got... Ah, oh, thank you, uh, Triple D. The trouble is, Enzo, I don't have enough money to repair or paint, so it doesn't make much difference right now. <laughs> New painting. Matt, this is Erlingrat. This is the uh, this is the map that was originally available in the Alpine DLC. Do the painting on it new. No. Right, I wanted to see if I can get right up to the edge here and just capture this first bit like so right there we are actually no we can keep going around like that oh, yeah, that works it's gonna make a very sharp turn for the next one but never mind i don't paint my tractors I like my tractors to look used. How you doing, Dylan Murphy? Hey, GG, welcome along. Uh, this is Erlengrat. It is the third default map with uh, with FS22. Paint is good. Well, at least one thing happened, Enzo. They put a paint shop in for you. You know, paint is a separate dedicated thing in FS22. Your wish has been granted. Uh, tractors of the workhorse farm. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of wondering if I can sell all my other tractors now 
and buy the Massey and just run the farm with the Deutz and the Massey. I don't know how much my tractors are worth. Holy moly! I could sell the Lintrack and buy the Massey. I'm really tempted to sell the rest of the tractors on my farm and buy the Massey. What do we think, chat? Is it worth running the farm with two 200 horsepower tractors, basically? Do it. I, th I think that that's a wise choice. I mean, that's going to set the farm up for a good long while, especially as that Deutz we can put a front loader on. Yeah, we'll do it. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to sell the rest of our tractors. We'll sell the, this little lecky. Uh, and we'll sell the... Um, uh, and, we'll, and we'll sell the, the Lintner. And, uh, and we'll go for that. We'll, we'll buy the Massey. And, uh, and get that done. Let's get right back round to the other side of the field. I can't get another Deutz, Martin. It's not on sale. But it's the, the Massey would go well. You'd spend uh, no, to buy some bigger equipment. But that's fine. We'll be able to then afford bigger equipment. That's the thing, uh, J-Man. We'll be able to then get bigger equipment in general. You know, we won't need to worry about that upgrade later. Right. So, I'm going to bring this to here. And we'll send them to the shop to do it as well. But what's doing small mundane tasks? A big Massey or a big Deutz? Small mundane tasks, actually, the Deutz will have the front loader. So, yeah. It's the fact that I can put the front loader on the Deutz that makes me think, oh, this is that's the way to go. Because if neither of them could take a front loader, it would be pointless. Because I can only do it if I sell the Lintrack. But the Lintrack basically. Right. Drop that off. Set destination. Shop, please. Off you go. Don't have anything on the back of this. I don't think a mass, the Massey has a front loader ability. If it does, great. We'll go and uh, we'll go and do that. Let's go. Need a little grey Fergie. Yeah, where are you going? <laughs> oh my god. I have no idea where that tractor is going. What steering wheel do I have? I have a G923. I used to have a G29, but that broke preview weekend. Right, so we can sell this. Yeah. 88,000. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant.
I could actually just keep this hanging around, but we'll we'll have the Porsche doing the little jobs. Although actually I could keep this. I might keep this actually. We don't need we don't need to sell this. You go back. What do you mean target is unreachable? Ah, oh, yeah, you do. Have, I'm going to check Enzo. Right. It does have a front loader. Right. We'll put the front loader on this then. Um, and the Michelin's. The F004. So this is going to cost us 75,000. That's brilliant. There we go. I'm not ignoring you. I know that Massey has a front loader. I just worked that out. Right, yeah, this both these tractors need a load of repairs, but we'll do that back at our farm. Also, yeah. Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Deutz for doing the wind rowing. It's not, it's not cheaty, Richard. It costs more to repair them because they're older. Um, and they have slightly, yeah. No, to me, it's not cheaty at all. I, I love it's a thing. And it, and it only, you know, this is a lucky break. To have two tractors like this is a lucky break. Quite often you just get rubbish. See, that Deutz has gone more expensive to repair now. I oh, know, there we go. Why is that telling me it costs more? There we go. So repair both of those. We'll go put the front loader on the Massey. Rob might need a bigger front loader is my only worry. I'm not sure the, the quickie loader we've got is particularly big. We'll see. Oh no, that's that's too small. <laughs> okay, we need to go and uh, and sell this. <laughs> it doesn't reach over the bonnet. That's the three M. Giants have battered and seems rigged. No. Uh, yeah, I've got a wheel knob on my uh, bit. Uh, that is, it's basically a John Deere wheel knob for a lawnmower tractor. We need a much bigger, quicker loader than we've got here.
We always get cotton stuff and forage harvesters. I'm going to be doing um, some videos on that totes, actually. I want to do a... So I've done start getting started on new farmer and farm manager and uh, start from scratch. Um, I want to do other farms. Yes. Right. Now we need to purchase a new front loader. We've got 8,000. What is the largest front loader we can get? A five. We're going to need... We're going to need more than that. Yeah, I'm going to need to borrow some money. So let's borrow a little bit of cash. 8RX for 80 cents. Wow, Enzo. That's insane. How much was that? Right. Uh, I'm going to get the 7M. Massey Red. Uh, actually, I'm going to reverse that. I'm going to go Massey Red and get black. Yep. Carbs doesn't look like it's far away from being ready. I would guess Oxy's still got a fair amount of work to do on it. There we go. That looks good on that. I like that. Yeah, and I'm glad I got the big one because nothing else really would have fit on this tractor. Uh, I wasn't Simon. The thing to remember is uh, a map that's base game has to fit every single piece of equipment on it. That includes that ridiculous mother bin. So... Uh, yeah, a, a UK base game map would have had to have been able to take that mother bin. Got the JCB Agrilla. That, that JCB is brilliant. Yeah. I, I kind of think the sales stuff forces you sometimes to use equipment that you wouldn't consider otherwise using. Yeah, it wouldn't be a proper UK looking uh, looking UK map. There we go. Perfect. Right. So after a quick tractor change round and uh, and getting two nice new big tractors. Yeah, you would. You'd end up with something. And Alien Jim is fantastic, but Sussex Farm is not a very English-feeling map. Oh, green on green. Look at that. We'll get a picture of that when we're driving into the sun. Had to reinstall. Why is that rocket kid? Oh, because you, yeah, you got your updates, didn't you? I get 60 FPS, yeah. Why did uh, Giants not include a Massey Harvester? For the same reason as the Case Quad Track isn't in there and the, uh, and the large New Holland Harvester isn't in there. I just, yeah. Not ready. Beak it up. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and not at all distracting. <laughs> mm. 
We need a beacon command. Oh. That, yeah, I think we do. I think that's a really good shout, Martin. Uh, yeah, I tried to download the saddle track and made the mistake you gave game didn't even load i've had okay so i've had a couple of reports of that um that people have installed the saddle track and it's just destroyed their game so uh yeah i would report please put in a support ticket to giants uh, about that one uh mr rocky because it's not the first one the uh, first time i've heard that Oh yeah, absolutely. The the thing is, and I, I Giants put enough equipment. I mean, there's 500 pieces of equipment in this game, which is just amazing. Oh, whoops. There we go. Look at that. Oh, man. Look at that picture. That is just immense. Need to be down a little bit so I can get like that. There we go. That is going on Instagram. Oh, GB modding. I cannot wait for GB modding stuff. Absolutely. I'm going to stop that flashing because that's distracting me slightly. starting on underground making your own sheep farm at the starting farm nice really love lone oak maybe another oregon map will be in the world well um lone oak was first made by bullet bill so i don't uh, i know oxy isn't looking to convert any maps from uh fs19 to fs22 so don't expect to see uh, Oakfield or uh, or Sandy Bay or any of those. He's uh, he's leaving those behind with the previous version of Farmson, and I think I think that's actually a really good idea. Now, which Greenvale will convert Greenwich? Uh, I don't know what Greenvale's doing actually, at all. Um, yeah. I'm not sure what's happening with Greenbelt. Fear 190 with the fruit and oh man, that would be amazing, Martin. That would be absolutely incredible. I'm gonna get the Massey on the baler next. It's been so long since I was last on YouTube. Had to go hunting for your ID and password. Hey, Jessies! I'm thinking Saturday nights might be YouTube night. I'm, I'm thinking that we're going to do maybe do Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday on Twitch and then do Saturday nights or here on YouTube. Um, and we might just continue with Erlograph. We might do something else. I haven't decided yet. Uh, Miltag and Jay, welcome along. Can't wait for Sid Morning's class Lexians. Those will be cool. Uh, how are we doing? How, what have I missed? Um, we managed to get very lucky in the sales or in the used equipment. We got a, this Deut and a Massey 8S. Uh, and so we've reorganized our farm equipment. And, uh, and yeah, we've, we've upgraded our tractors. 
A bit with uh, quite a few more hours on them than we uh, initially started with uh, on our uh, starting tractors, but we've got two really good size tractors now. Two uh, over 200 horsepower tractors, which is going to be fantastic going forwards on here. Uh, we might even be able to um, get some uh, some equipment to go contracting, which would be brilliant. I want to get this field bailed up. Or we might bail this up next time, maybe. And uh, and this time go and, uh, and do a contract. We shall see. 100 likes. I do need to sing. It is song time, chat. I drove me a tracker through your racetack last night. Who are you? Are I threw me a pitchfork at your dog to keep quiet? Who are you? Are now something's telling me that you've been avoiding me. Come on now, darling, I've got something you need. Cause I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Come on now, let's get together in perfect harmony. I got 20 acres and you've got 43. Now I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. I'll stick by you, I'll give you all that you need. Who are who are? Well, I've twins and triplets, I'm a man built for speed. Who are who are? And you know I love you, darling. So give me your hand. Who are who are? All I want most is all those acres of land. Cause I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Come on now, let's get together in perfect harmony. I've got 20 acres and you've got 43. Now I've got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. For seven long years I've been alone in this place. Who are who are? Eat, sleep in the kitchen, it's a proper disgrace. Who are who are? And you know I love you, darling. So give me your hand, who are who are? All I want most is all those acres of land. Cause I got a brand new combine officer and I'll give you the key. Come on now, let's get together in perfect harmony. I've got 20 acres and you've got 43. Now I've got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Weren't we a grand couple at that last Wurzel's dance? I wore me brand new gaiters and me corduroy pants. You in your new Sunday dress with your perfume smelling grand. We had our photos took and I sold in hands. Now I've got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Now that we're both past the fifties, I think that you and me should stop this gallivanting and will you marry me? Cause I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. There we go, everybody. My, uh, my, um, rendition of brand new combine harvester. Cause you guys passed a hundred likes and you guys are awesome. And I'm going to put some proper music back on. Um, have I paid off my wheel yet? No, uh, I still need to pay off my wheel. Um, so any uh, any donations or contributions uh, towards that would be greatly appreciated because yeah, I still need to pay off my wheel. It's gonna be uh, well if I can pay off sooner, great. Otherwise, it's gonna be January. BF on Britain's God. There we go. God, our little Porsche tractor looks very ridiculous now. So what's the number plate on this? Oh, we need to update the number plate on this. Because this is VF. Uh, yeah. Let's update the number plate on this. Customize number plate. Zero two. There we go. I have no idea what you're talking about, Robin. Getting the hang of FS twenty two, awesome, Commander Dale. There we go. 
Uh, Robin, please stop spamming the chat. I I have asked you a couple of times at this point. Uh, right, we need Baylor. Cover that uh, even more potential for profit, yeah. John, much more. If Valtra Farm at 502602 is just uploaded, do I want to show off the mod? The only gears does not show or the sand because I will be in the next version. I'd love to have a look, John. Yeah, definitely. Thank you very much for the 20 pound donation you sir are awesome i will put that towards the wheel absolutely we'll get it we'll get it paid off Yay. yeah this this is our other tractor we just brought this this baler looks a little bit small on it now um they swing around that corner really fast might go into that bit uh, it's 2k gaming thank you for subscribing welcome to the bfn should get a few bales off this How am I finding the uh, 923? It, to be perfectly honest, not massively different to my G29. Uh, had had the 923 in on Black Friday not been only £20 more expensive than the G29, I'd have had another G29. Later, Martin, and thank you very much, my friend. You are awesome. Bye bye, Bale. <laughs> oh, actually. That's a pretty nice shot, as is. That. I love that I've got photo mode working. This is just, oh, it just makes doing this so much easier. Okay, Robin, I have no idea what cocklet is. Okay. That is way too close to something. And I, I'm sorry, Robin, I'm going to give you a timeout. Please stop sp spamming the chat and, and please stop putting stuff in that is just trolly. Very, very trolly. Uh, I'm not playing the radio, I'm playing pretzel. Pretzel is copyright uh, is copyright safe music or DMCA safe music. Uh, as a result, I uh, have a license. I actually have a license with Pretzel, which is one of the nice things. You can go to their website, you can download a license, and you have a license to play uh, the music on it. Yeah, I never play any 
uh, music I don't have a license for on any of my streams. Cross the slope, hopefully that. That's how you stop bales rolling, chat. Hello, Paul Wilson. Welcome along. You've not been here in nearly a year. Same here. <laughs> I just thought it was playing simulator radio. No, no. I, I... Um, promote simulator radio and they promote me but I'm not uh, yeah, I'm not playing uh, simulator radio I'd love to because they play some fantastic stuff but uh, yeah you are very right I can't play uh, I can't play sim radio you love Massey but it's old I, I really like the the shape and the the Design of the new masses. I think they're really nice machines. Can we reach the top of here and not have to unload this? Have I had this bad storm? I think it's on the way, uh, Mr. Rocket Kid. Oh, right. This is going to be a little more interesting because we're basically driving up the slope. So we'll have to unload it there. And the worst case scenario of that is it will drive into, or roll into the fence. Hey, Canadian, what's for supper? Uh, for supper this evening, I did. I didn't eat supper this evening. Uh, we had, we went out. Uh, I went out with the twins to the local soft play, and attached to it is an uh, an American restaurant. And uh, I had a very nice Tennessee burger in there with the biggest pile of curly fries. I mean, just... So the burger took up that much of the plate. The curly fries took up that much of the plate. And almost covered the burger. It was nuts. Uh, is there going to be a discount on this game uh, on Steam for Christmas? I have no idea. There has been a lot of issues with Farming Simulator 22. I, I know that you've had a lot of issues, uh, 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 Rocket Kid, but wasn't, weren't your issues all to do with your PC and not necessarily the game? Snowing in Northern Ireland, wow. Snow in the Northeast. Yeah, we, we've not had any of that. We had some very, very cold rain this afternoon, though. I mean, we, yeah, that was not nice. Stop it and making you hungry. Uh, uh, and round across the slope. Did I get that one right? I did get that one right. I was having great trouble in uh, yesterday's video, I think it was, doing that. There we go. Nope. That's still raised. Yeah, FS22 on Steam is the same game as not on Steam. Strong wind in the southwest damaging your guttering. Well, we've had... So, we're having the um, part of our roof replaced at the moment. Um, which we were trying to get that sorted. And unfortunately, the weather's not been good enough to get it finished. 
Um, but should all be good. And the person doing it is awesome. It's just been the weather. Uh oh. It stopped. It stopped. It turned when it hit my bailer. Only issue I've had so far is uh, to do MP, which usually happens with the launch of a new FS game. Probably do. Yeah, I have not. I have purposefully. Because it happens with every game release. New Farmer 1980, thank you for the £10 donation. You are awesome. Uh, the. Uh, yeah, that's 100%. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, so I, d I haven't done multiplayer so far because I've been waiting for the post-launch issues that hit every game in multiplayer to pass. What time is it uh, here? It is half past nine. Be okay. Pick that up. Yep, yeah, most of that. It's good. Great thing is we can use the doits that now to pull the trailer. I shall. Ah, oh, if I can afford it, I'll go and upgrade my trailer. I don't think I can because we're going to get far more bales off here than our little trailer can handle. Have the flu, not the virus, luckily, but this flu's oh nasty. Hope you feel soon, uh, better soon, Paul. Uh, have I heard anything about fixing the harvest contracts? Yes, um, I saw an update earlier today about that. Uh, basically, uh, as it will be, so a fix for the harvest contracts will be in the next patch, um, which they are trying to get out as quickly as they can. Yeah, uh, well, the, the physics of the game improves with every version. And I, I see it a lot where people go, oh, I hope they improve the physics in Farm Sim. Or I hope they fix the physics in Farm Sim. And we I, we saw we saw it when we did the, um, the again, the retrospective, where every progressive version of Farm Sim, the bail physics and the pallet physics and everything got better. Um, so yeah, it, it always does, uh, and uh, and I'm very very happy about that. So uh, yeah. Oh, one hundred. There we go. No problem, Jared. I'll be a little bit further, actually. Not rolling. Good. Realistic bailing, people. How to stop your bales rolling. Placing new uh, builds the FS2 seems much less picky. It does. The only issue I've had is you don't seem to be able to raise and lower buildings um so like you used to you about to raise and lower buildings to either the lowest height or the highest height and i'm finding that a little bit jarring i 
It seems to kind of go to the average height now. Is there anywhere I can watch the retrospectives? I heard them mention a few times. Uh, yes, they're currently on my Twitch. Uh, so if you head over there, uh, you can see them on the old videos there. I might stick them on my second channel. So I have uh, a Virtual Farmer 2 is where I'm going to be putting all my Twitch uh, VODs going forwards. Uh, I have uploaded everything FS22 so far. So those are going to be starting to come out this week. Um, and then eventually my old FS19 uh, VODs will go on there as well. Whoa, missed a bit. Am I in England? Yes, I am. No problem, Zach. Uh, yeah, but if you wanna if you wanna watch those or any of my Twitch streams at the moment, uh, head over to twitch.tv forward slash virtual farmer, um, and uh, and yeah, you can find them all there. Will they patch the lorries? What is wrong with the lorries, uh, Golgo? Because then I can keep an eye out for the problem if somebody else has it. For raise and lowering too little now isn't an option. We need more mods. Or path C? Looks like a square bit. No, it's a fine. I've not had a bail roll. Well, I've had one bail roll, but it didn't go very far. Also, the st all the base game square bailers are huge. They, re they require a massive amount of HP uh, that I don't have. Now, I'm liking what I see. I, yeah... Do I know where North Hampshire is? I know where Hampshire is. Um, so, uh, and yeah, I suppose I know where the northern part of it is, yeah. Your game keeps on crashing again. What is it with your machine that's causing the crash, Mr. Rocket Kid? Oh, do you have the uh, Zerion saddle track? I've heard people having issues with that. Uh, Mirdal, welcome along. I mean, I haven't, interestingly. Okay, please don't spam the chat. Or I will have to time you out. I have the horsepower now, yeah. Uh, it's going to be honest, first negative about FS22, now I'm liking what I see. Yeah. I, I Which is awesome, uh, Eugene. Hello, uh, Muabajat. Welcome along. I apologize if I... Uh, Mess up your name. The Mack trucks, the tires slip and don't get grip to drive. Okay. Um, I have two suggestions. Uh, well, I have. I will pass that along, Chad. Thank you for um, for raising that. Um, I would also say if you are having an issue with the trucks like that, uh, drop over to um, the Farming Simulator website, throw in a support ticket, um, and let them know that there there is that issue. If you can give as much information as possible, even a link to the video of it happening or something like that, um, that really helps as well. Underpowered for console. Okay, cool. Yeah. If you can't, if you come across any problems, any anybody, I recommend report it to Giants. Let them know that that you're having whatever the issue is that you're having. Um, and uh, and then they can you know they can then look at it and 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 deal with it. Especially especially if you've got a little video that you can upload to YouTube or something, um, you know uh, that then you leave private. If you leave private or if you've got a stream, you can you know take a take a snapshot from a stream or something and uh, and send it over. That is even better because then they can see what's happening.
It's curious you I have with FS9 teams. Building ended up creating steep cliff edges. And here was a lot of place, place building. Not such an issue now with 22. Yes. Um, with, uh, with 19, you could raise and lower the buildings. They get stuck on PC too. I will have to have a look. I have not got far enough in to test the Mack truck so far, to be honest. Right, I'll drop over Drew by retrospective and stay safe. Catch you later. Catch you later, Zach. There we go. Right, let's bail up the bottom end of this field. There's not many rows left. <laughs> that will then get this job done. Can't get enough of FF22. Any plans for Let's Play on YouTube? Um, I do, Guardian J. I, I'm kind of... Uh, I, I kind of want to do something on, on Hope Belleron. Um, at the same time, I would quite like to do a lot of uh, guides and information for now on here. Uh, and then... Uh, when we start getting match dropping and things like that, then start the let's plays and the role plays and all of that kind of content. Uh, next week, I will say next week, what I'm going to be doing is concentrating almost exclusively on production chains. I want to go through all of the production chain buildings. I want to go through all the production chain setup. And, uh, and basically create the definitive guide to production chains next week. So, um, I'm currently putting together all of the uh, stuff for that. Uh, and hopefully... Oh, that's rolling. Stop rolling. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and hopefully uh, that will be something that's helpful to everybody. And this week's videos have gone down really well. The getting started stuff has has really uh, really piqued people's interest, and I'm so pleased that's worked. Um, but yeah, I, it's one of those things where I'm looking at the production chains. And I'm going, oh, which building is best? What do I, what what crops do I want to put in? Is it worth me putting X crop into uh, into a production chain? Because there was a time when I was looking at it and going, oh, those those don't pay very well. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do the maths. Um, I'm going to go through each production chain building. Um, we're going to see if it work worth it. And we're going to see as well if uh, going a certain way with the production chain makes a difference. So, for example, if you put wheat into uh, the grain mill, is that more profitable at the end than uh, if you then go to make bread at the bakery? than it is with oats and that kind of thing i want to i want to work all of that out and, and do the maths to work that out so that you guys can come along and go oh actually yeah i'll i've, I've got wheat and i've got the grain mill i'll um i'll go and put i'll go and put that into the grain mill and make flour and make a load of money off that Oh, nice, Andrew. Cool. I'm trying to think. I do know Hampshire. I'm trying to think exactly where it is at the moment. Wow, the sun must be setting behind the mountains. I do love that about Erlingrad because it's in the valley. You get the, the big uh, shadow from the mountain. I, I have done Eugene. I did that on... Uh, Friday. I did that yesterday. 
That was yesterday's video. And people loved it. It is it is currently my number one video for FS22. It's got uh, it's got like three and a half thousand views on it, which is brilliant. Uh, AI traffic's definitely faster. Uh, we discovered that earlier when it took out my um, my worker. Yeah, it's that mountain over there. The sun is going behind it at the moment. And slowly dropping. <laughs> Send me a link to the tractor now uploading buck rake and high dump bucket to mod hub. Cool. Um, what I'll do is I'll have a look, John. If it's if you're saying that there's more to come to it, um, I I yeah, I might try and do a mod preview or uh, or if you've got stuff that is going to change on it, it might be worth holding off. But uh, we'll have a look. It's up to you, really. If you want me to do a, to take a look at it and put something out now, I'm happy to. Those bear yours are three thousand. Uh, are they hay bales you're baling, uh, Stopple? I don't think there's a. Ooh, ooh! There's a new feature. I'm not gonna do it on this field because on this field it'd be a bad idea. But automatic drop is a thing on this Pottinger baler. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, or poting a baler. I wonder if um, I wonder if that's just a game feature now. Thread the needle. I'm gonna have to turn the lights on. We're quite deep in shadow. <laughs> You're on grass. Yeah, so that's the difference. Different materials have different bale sizes in FS22. Uh, so because I'm doing hay, I'm getting larger bales. If you do straw, then you end up with 5,000 litre bales. Yeah, that is pretty cool, auto drop. I take it that you still need to stop to let it drop. Right. I think we might go and see. We've got a field full of bales. I think we might go and see if we can... Um get... A contract. Can we get one more full bale off here? That would be good. It's not a huge amount left, though. 92. 92 still. We've got a bale over here that we might be able to push off with our front loader. There we go. Oh, 95. Don't think I've got any more. I was bailing and wrapping them and selling them as silage. Yeah, so that's that's why your bales are smaller, because you're bailing a different material. Yeah, I don't think I've missed anything. I think we've got everything down here. Oh, there's a bit. It's not a huge bit. Ninety-five. Yeah. No, that's gonna be it. All right. Do I play with pedals? Yes. 
Do I get lead pains? No. I've got I've got a very nice noble chair that's set up really well, and I've got my pedals set up in a in a good position. little bit of extra weight on the back not that we're gonna overly need it right let's see if there's any uh contracts that we can do tempted to try harvesting contract right so bailing bailing cultivating fertilizing harvesting oh that's a good harvesting contract Cost us a thousand to do that, and we'll need to hire that. But anything else rivaling that? Yeah, two massive bailing contracts. Oh wow! Field twenty-four. That's wrapping to silage bales. I can't do that. I can do this. I could very easily do that. Your calf supper where must be positioned wrong for the... Yeah. Although... Yeah. I'd rather collect up my own bales, to be honest, than do a bailing contract. Right. So what have we got in the sales? Oh look, the little Izeki's come uh, come for sale. Nice. Uh, right, we want. How much is a bale trailer? Because we'll be able to put more bales on a bale trailer. Bale trailers, bale loaders, here we go. So round bale loader would be 50,000. See, 19,000 for that. And our trailer is worth 10,000. So we wouldn't be able to sell that and, and get it yet. Okay, fine. We're gonna have to use the little trailer. Good evening, Scorpion DK Gaming. Uh, DK Gaming. Do the beats. I've done the harvest with delivery to the train. It's worked. Hello, Grapple Al uh, Kebabi. Welcome along. My opinion fields are too big for that small amount of money. Not a fan of job contracts. Uh, it varies. Some of the contracts are absolutely worth it. It, it kind of depends on what the excess money is. And the excess crop is. I always think potato uh, harvesting and potato planting contracts are worth it. Especially if you can get a potato harvesting contract before a potato uh, planting contract. Because you basically just save potatoes from the harvest and it costs you nothing to, uh, to plant them.
Ooh, I've not tried this. Oh, really? You're gonna move that way. John, where's your last comment? Uh, if you put the video out there so people know about it, uh, just say it's still a work in progress. Okay, cool. Yeah, no problem. Too close. That sweet stop spot between close enough so that when we get onto the trailer, it's good. Versus uh, not too close so that it, it knocks the bale. God, look at that little trailer on the back of this doid. That just looks ridiculous. And we're going to overload this trailer something chronic as well. Uh-oh. to on any hints about culvert contracting no it's all dependent on when a map comes out playing fs19 kind of started working on contract to harvest potatoes from large field regret this uh i i actually like those they take time but they pay well uh yeah you'll take a long while to do it but there are no contracts that pay better than potato contracts in uh in fs I think we could only do a single bale at the back there. Evening without, how are you doing? Yeah, there's no way uh, another bear will fit on the back there. How much is another one of these trailers, I wonder? Because that would be the other way to do this. Find fertilizer contracts, easy, fast money on big fields. Yeah. 
But you had to do lots of them to make a lot of money. Potato contracts might take you a, a, a day in game, but you will you will make a lot of money from it. And round. No. Right, we should be able to fit another four bales on that. I think it's going to take three loads to get these all off this field. Unless, oh, we might be able to go, um... Yeah, we might go another stack high on top of this. Hello, Simon C2 in Mexico. Um, English only, please, because unfortunately I speak very few other languages. And the other ones I do speak uh, tend to be not very well. So... Just joined chat wondering... Uh, are they the smallest round bales these are well the bales vary in size depending on what you're baling so hay bales are sort of the medium sized ones the grass bales are the smallest and the straw bales are the largest Uh, Ratty, I don't repair weights. Yes, it will knock the, uh, the overall repair bar down a bit, but yeah, I don't repair weights. There is no point. It has, uh, no effect on the performance of them. Uh, yeah, the ratchet straps in FS22 make noise, which is absolutely incredible and I like very, very much. Again, one of those really nice little features. Another one on the back there. Right. Can we fit? I think we can probably fit two more on this. Uh, play excess together. They just ask everywhere. What's the fastest way to get money? It's just money. Yeah, it's it's I there are there are strategies to play the game and earn more money, uh, which is fine. But yeah, I'm I, I there's the reason I don't cheat money into farm sim. Actually, I don't want to do that one up yet. Uh, is because I, you know, I want to earn that money in the game. I want to actually make the cash. Thank you, Milk Tanker J. I have been perfecting my bail stacking since FS15. And uh, each progressive game has just made it easier. <laughs> there we go. Although, why can I not stack like this when I'm playing in the FSL? Go. 
yeah i i unless i'm setting up a role play something to do with role play or or or, or i'm testing something out i've never had any need to cheat money into farm so oh oh i'm still on my wheels those vans come roaring round there Right, I'll be clear. Yes, we're clear. the opinion um if you are using uh if you start in uh farm manager you don't need to ever bring any uh you don't ever need to cheat money into the game definitely don't you get so much money in farm manager now that it's it's not a thing Now, I like the new traffic speed, Jesse's. No longer am I sitting behind um, cars waiting for them to move. No, I'm, I'm much, much happier with traffic speed in, in 22. I think I probably should have made the highlight on this gray rather than the black. My bales have moved slightly. be the case uh no idea rapper Managed to get that between the bale. Oh, between the bale spike. That one's being held on by that. Okay, fine. There we go. Doop, 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 doop. Right, let's take off the rest of these because they are just going to hold all these bales down. I don't. I. I um. Uh, Waldo, I commentate for the FSL. I'm. I. It's me and um. Terminator who who commentate for FSL. Sometimes I. Uh, sometimes I play it though. Because uh, it's fun. Yeah, it sounds like um, uh, Windows ducking. Audio ducking to me, that problem. Oh! 
Oh, no, that's gonna explode. Oh. Wow, it's getting dark quick. Just knock those back a little bit. Welcome along. Not the most successful unloading I've ever done, but... Long bearded. No, no, I'm not. I'm not coming. I'm not playing FSL at the moment. Oh yeah. Hello, Mr. Red Dirt Raj. How you doing, sir? Hope you're having a good time. I would say go check out Red over on Twitch. He is fantastic. Head of the Red Dirt Rough Riders, which is the stream team I'm part of. And Mr. Gamer Dragon, welcome in to you as well, sir. Oh, there we go. Just two more bales. Just two more bales to get off here. Oh, yeah. That is, that is very true. This time it is quarter past ten. Run the dragon as bad as I'm good. Trying to learn for the best. Ah, oh, thank you, Red. My stacking is working. I'm actually getting bales off here. It's getting fairly dark on the field though. I don't know if I don't know how many bales we got left on there. I can get ten. Uh, so. I can get three, I can get six, and I can get 12 bales off at a time. How many bales have we created today? If I go out there and stack up a load more bales, are we going to get all of them? No. 31 bales today. Yeesh. It would have been quicker to have got the stacker. Hello, simulation for the nation. Welcome along. How you doing? Planning another start from scratch series. Yes, I will be doing start from scratch um, on here. And I will be doing uh, realism experiment over on Twitch. Beautiful. I'm so happy the physics and the bales and pallets are better. Oh, yeah. The, the pallet and bale physics are absolutely gorgeous there's so much i love about fs22 it's just all of the all of the minor issues i've had all of the little bits and pieces completely outweighed uh by the uh by the good stuff the stuff that i'm enjoying and i'm loving about it speaking of which that's wow that sun has really set Let me have a look at my field. We're going, and this is... Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, we've got... Four on here. And lots down the bottom. I think it's getting dark, and we're not going to be able to do those. 
and it's 20 past 10. So, um, yeah. Right. So let's go park this up and I think we'll stack the rest of those bales and get them off the field next Saturday. Thank you, Waldo. I am I am looking forward to restarting the realism experiment. We just need a map. Why don't I play on the new map? Because I like to do the realism experiment on the British map. It's a very much for me. It's a very much a British farming um, series. And, and and based on how long we spent on Bessie Beneath, I want a map that's going to last for a long while. And the great thing is that Oxy's actually said he's going to keep his maps up to date the whole way through. So um, that's quite good for me. What am I doing? Talk to you soon, Red. Need a 64 map for Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's, I mean, that's how you love to play, Jesse. <laughs> Lots of days. Right. Oh, gotcha. It's... I keep taking pictures. I take lots and lots of pictures in... in uh, 22. Because it's just a gorgeous looking game. It really is. Uh, hopefully, that, that would be pretty cool, uh, Waldo. I would... Uh, I'd be... Yeah, that would be... That would be awesome. That flashing orange light behind me is really quite distracting right now. There we go. Turn it off. Listen to that drone. How awesome is that sound? Right, that off. Yeah, I can turn them off. I think that's the, yeah, that's all the lights off that. I think we've still got all the lights on on the Massey, so. Turn those off. Yeah, look how dark it is. Wow. Right. And then these are all off. So this is... Oh, wow. We need to change the number plate on the diesel. Because this should be VF001. Customize. There we go. Oh, I didn't do it. Yeah, this little Porsche is absolutely brilliant, and I love it. And I'm so glad I went and bought the model kit. I 
And it does fit nicely in this shed with our little wiggy track. But yeah, look at that. Old and new together. So we got uh, number plates VFO1, uh, VFO2, VFO4, and VFO3. There we go. I probably want to sell this. I don't think we have a use for this anymore. Uh, it's... How much is that worth? Mowers, mowers, mowers. There we go. Where is that? Oh, no, it's that. Yeah, self-propelled mowers. So, yeah, that's worth... That's worth 10,000. Uh, compared to... How much is that trailer? That's 11,000. That actually... We could get a second bale trailer if we sold that. That might be quite good. So we might have to look into that next time as well. All right, but yeah, it's dark. So let's go to sleep. Wake up at 7 a.m. Sleep. Fix the issue with the game crashing. Said the XML file was set on high. Ah, that makes sense. And look at that sunrise. Absolutely gorgeous. November the 1st. And we've got snow on the way. How are our cows? Uh, cows are actually fairly good. Productivity is awful, though. Um, so, oh, that's because their health is bad. Why is their health bad? Okay. Don't know why their health is bad. And their productivity is zero. So, yeah. Hard to look into that. Second trailer can make a B train. Exactly. And we can uh, we can get more bales off the field at one time. Which will be good. Right, let's save this, though. Okay. And then I'll pause. I can't leave the game because it crashes at the moment if I leave it. So, uh, I'll do that after the stream ends um but that is it for this evening um some uh some thank yous to say uh thank you to um mark t uh mark hv uh for becoming a channel member you are awesome uh thank you to martin Amor gamer and uh, i can't remember who the other person was it doesn't show up on my screen for your donations uh you are both awesome as well thank you very very much uh yeah thank you so so much um i it's not a script it's well it's having a script active but it's a bug in the game so it's not the actual script causing it to crash but it's the presence of the script that's causing it to crash which is a bug that i know they're looking into so uh, that's the, that's the thing. Um, I will be back on Twitch tomorrow night from 8 p.m. So please come join me over there. Um, we're going to be doing some. Oh, as I said, yeah, we're going to be doing a little bit of farm sim, and then we're going to do doing some hunter call of the wild um, because I've been asked uh, to do a sponsor stream on that. And uh, and yeah, I like hunter call of the wild, so I want to have an explore of it, and uh, and we're going to do that. That is because. Uh, that is available free on Epic Games this week, um, which is quite cool. So we're going to leave this here, and uh, and yeah, uh, go check out my vids. Uh, go uh, follow us over on Twitch, and uh, and all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed tonight's live stream. Uh, please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.